guys, it's Splinterverse. We're playing Hex Shards of Fate. The format is Mary Mealy Corinth. The game is free to play on PC and PS4, so check out the link in the video description to download the game or to learn more about it. We are using this sleeve, which you can get from opening Armies of Myth boosters and um, using the, the chests. There's little chests that come in it um, that can contain equipment or cards or other things and you spend them on the wheels of fate to try to improve the items you get out of them. It's a very cool mechanic. This card is terrible. This is, eh, this can't even block. We're gonna have to go with this. They're all terrible choices, honestly. I do love the art in this, though. It's a vampire Pegasus. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll get to show it to you better before it disappears. That's a beautiful card. I think Benvolio is a mercenary that you can play. Okay, socketed troops in all zones have cost minus one. Very good. It's a good little blocker. Helpful if you get any socketed cards. Well, none of these are good. Um, I get it. I guess this is okay. All right, I'm gonna have to start getting actions though to make that viable. If you guys have a second, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. We're uploading new videos every day, so stay tuned. this. Gosh, I really want to bring Wild into the mix here. But I also wanted to go Double Diamond. Alright, let's see. Not good. This is good. This is very good. colors to enable that. And we've got them in our hand here. Rage and momentum. to block for the little 1-1. One, one. He wants us to die because it'll summon another pet mama bear, although it will reduce the power or the attack and defense of, of the mama bear to do that. So. So. I want to play this, but I want to be able to block some of this stuff.
and this works with that so that's also why I picked that because this this will play it for free for me all right so we are going to be enabled on this So at this point, if he attacks with any of these, I can kill it. It's a risk because he could pump it and then I could lose my Midnight Shepherd. But he can always come back and now he's permanently got Swift Strike plus 3-3 three, three, unless he gets reverted. The scrounge part usually doesn't come into play, but okay. So that prevented the attack. One little action there prevented the attack, and now we're enabled on his power. Okay, we're gonna use this. This one's the most deadly because it will be a 4-4 next turn. We could battle anything and get it. So that's going to put it in the crypt. So then on his turn, we will tap this and steal it. Unless he somehow removes it from his crypt. Here's the art I was trying to show you earlier. So he's got the vampire teeth. And he's a Pegasus. Don't see that every day. It'd be awesome, though, to have a Pegasus that was like a vampire. As long as it was a well-behaved Van Pegasus. Okay. So, might not want to block something here. No point in blocking with that, we'd only take we take six instead of seven, so that's fine. Alright, let's go double wild. This is awesome, but this is incredible, and it should be able to block anything that we want here. So this will get rage one. Yeah, let's attack with. No, let's not. Let's not. Let's, let's be safe here. But now the trick with this card is you've got to discard your whole hand every turn, unless you play want to play something out of it. So now. What's, what's going to happen is he's going to, even if he buffs this, we can, we can um, buff our guy. We have two things we can discard here. Although I'm only going to discard one on his turn. Because we could create something with our charge power that lets us play an additional resource or lets us play, you know, play multiple resources per turn or something like that. And if we, we discard two before we play that, then we've kind of screwed ourselves out of taking advantage of that. So only going to do one on that power. Oh, very nice. zero resources left. So 
So he can plus two this, but it's not going to... Okay. It's not going to be enough, and now we can steal it. Yep, so <laughs> I think the clutch of Deendra there was uh, potentially MVP. And, and Midnight Shepherd, too. We stole two troops with that. So let me know in the comments what you thought the MVP was. And uh, please subscribe and like the video. And until next time, happy hexing.